Air Force identified the future warfare is more of the terrorist type of warfare. The stakes are high and the Air Force is calling on Wright State to collaborate in a research effort to learn what the future may hold for micro air vehicles. In terms of terrorists, really the, the spy and the intelligence surveillance mission become very important. Dr. George Wong is leading the Wright State Center of Excellence in Micro Air Vehicle Research. He and his team have made vehicles like these, modeled after cicadas, butterflies, dragonflies, and more. And the ladybug actually has a very strange way of flying, actually. If you look at a ladybug, they open up their shell. Mm. Then the two wings actually stick out from their shell, and then they flip with 180 degrees all the way front and back that way. There's no doubt this program is cutting edge. In the last year, the Wright State vehicles have become 50% lighter. One model can even fly in 20 mile per hour wind gusts. Another has carried a small camera. Then we learn the lessons from insects. Then we capture the future from the insects, then design based on the future we catched. All the designs and the latest advances in the Wright State research will be on display Wednesday, March 23rd at the Center for Micro Air Vehicles Open House. A MAV demonstration, Huang says, will be unlike any other in the world because at Wright State, we're doing all of the development at one place. It's not only the computation, it's not only the structure, it's not only the airframe, it's everything together. And if you are talking about everything together, Wright State is unique.